Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Substance Painter and what actually is Substance Painter and why it might help you. So I will give put some things in the background to show you some of the content that are made from some of the biggest AAA companies and I'll just go through exactly what the whole idea of PBR, Substance and what it can help you achieve on a day to day basis. So if you're somebody who wants to take the quality of their game to the next level, you're interested in 3D art and maybe you've not used used a texturing piece of software like Substance Painter before, I can't recommend it enough because it's truly a one-stop shop for all your texturing needs when it comes to making a, an asset within a 3D program. You can bring it straight into Substance Painter, you can bake any of the high polygon meshes that you might have to bake the textures all within the program. Then you can, just like you would with a standard Photoshop with all the layers you have, you can paint, you can apply scratches, masks, grunges, dirt, whatever it needs to be to specific parts of that model. Just to breathe extra life into something that you know, might have originally been a flat texture on your model, you can actually make it look like it's truly something that you would see in the real world. So the whole idea behind this program is to streamline the whole efforts of texturing, rendering, um, applying all the different effects and the whole idea of a PBR workflow is it's classed as a physically based rendering and physically based rendering is when you get a material or a texture and you author them in such a way that they are based on real life values because you will get any item in the real world and it'll have specific metallic uh, values and so on that react in a certain way to light. If you've got a piece of metal it will be um, have high reflectance because it's a metal at the end of the day and then you'll have something that's a lot duller like it's something like a wood and it wouldn't have ha as high reflectivity and there's a lot of different things that you can glean from real life and it allows them to work in lots of different lighting scenarios which means that no matter where you put your asset whether it's a swamp a forest a desert anything like that it will always look like it should in no matter which place you do it and such big AAA companies like Ubisoft um, games like uh, from Naughty Dog like Uncharted so many big titles have used the software and if you truly want to you know take a step into using what elder professionals tend to use it's something that you will want to look at using and it has all support integrated in all of the big game engines like Unreal, Unity and so on and with the most recent update of 2018.1 they've streamlined the user interface so you can customize the layout as you see fit, hide things away which you don't need and just make it a, an experience that's really helpful for you. I'll never go back to using another program because it's uh, so unbelievably streamlined and straightforward. You can bring in your model, apply materials that you might have got from the big stores from uh, algorithmic who make the software themselves they've got something called substance source and it has thousands of materials that you can pre-apply whether that be metals woods leathers cloths and from various other avenues you can get hold of materials and you can really take things to the next level so hopefully if you haven't tried be sure to check out the 30-day trial for substance painter it's such an awesome program so be sure not to miss out thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment, and subscribe cheers